Hey guys, so I wanted to come to you today and just talk about this principle called flow. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't really understand is a mixture of flow and momentum when it comes to growing their accounting and their bookkeeping business. Now, before you even go into that, if you want some help going and growing your business, maybe you're an accountant or your bookkeeping, you're trying to grow your business, but maybe you just are tired of trying it on your own, or you haven't started yet and you want to avoid all the things that cause most people to fail, then click the link inside the description below. It'll take you to my calendar and you can book a call with me. And like on that call, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just dissect where are you in your business and what do you actually wanna accomplish with your business? What is your plan? What are you moving toward? And then I'm gonna outline a process of what it would look like for me and you to work together in order to go and accomplish that goal um, over a very given, um, just a set duration of time. For some people that duration might be a little bit longer depending on how lofty your goal is. For example, if you're trying to go from zero to $20,000 a month, that's gonna take, and for most people, more than three months. If it's more of, a, of like, just more of a reasonable old goal where it's like zero to about 10 grand, um, it can be anywhere from about three, three months to about six months. So we're gonna determine that. And then if it makes sense, we can onboard you, get you inside the program, and then make sure you go and reach your goal. Now, back to what we're talking about, flow plus momentum. So. Oftentimes, what you guys are really shooting for in your business is momentum. Now, momentum is this place where things start moving and it starts just it starts just going exponentially higher. At first, it starts like a linear graph, and it's like you know you do some output, you do some output, but then all of a sudden it starts catching like more of this like just upper, like a half a parabola kind of. If you ever look at like geometry or um, yeah geometry, and what that basically means is that things get easier. And it's not that you don't have to do any work. I'm not saying that you still put in the same amount of work, but the same amount of work starts doing twice the results. And you start moving really, really fast. And you can go anywhere from like, you know, some of my students, when they start from absolute zero and they get their first client, they get their second client, then their third client, then all of a sudden they start getting like three clients a week, right? Or they start getting a really big client because they just have this confidence. And that's really the place that you're looking for. Now, most people, especially if you're going at it alone, they take forever to go find this place of momentum. And the reason why most people can't find it is because momentum is not caused by hard work and frustration. The only time you're really gonna find and catch this momentum in your business and inside of your life is if you are in flow. Flow is a state of relaxed, it's like a relaxed competence where you don't really care whether or not things work for you. And it's it's a very, very, very kind of like, um, it's a weird feeling because it's like, well, Bryce, I want my business to grow. I understand. But at the same time, it's like you have to be able to, you have to be able to let go and just focus on doing the work. Most people, what happens is like they, they, they don't get any clients, they don't get the size clients they want, and they get frustrated, and they stop doing work. Like they don't talk to as many people, they don't do any consultations, they just get irritated, and then the consultations they do have, they just tend to like just really blow them. And it causes this like downward spiral, because now you're not getting clients, you're frustrated, nothing feels like it's working, then you stop doing work, and then you kind of like fizzle out of the industry, or you just really like put on the brakes for like six months. Now, the opposite is when I have students on my program, for example, like, like Yvonne did this, where I tell them immediately, like, dude, let go of the results. If you do the work, the results are gonna come. Like, I tell you exactly what to do step by step so you know exactly what you need to do, and there's like no confusion between that. And all, all the students have to do is just do the work, and like, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, people ask like, why is my success rate for my students so consistent and so high? It's because I just give you like proper expectations then you know, and it's like, okay, so if you just do this much activity, you do this type of activity, you do it from this many places, you just do this, and then it's just like, okay, you win so easily. And, sorry, there's, there's a train coming, so I kind of lost my train of thought. That's crazy, there's like this train coming. Oh, he's moving really slow. But yeah. And for example, like Yvonne, so Yvonne, when she first joined, like she was having so much trouble because like she was so frustrated. She had been in her business for about two weeks and like nothing was working. So like we partnered, I said, okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to stop talking about results. Like 
she always come on the call like, oh, I don't have any clients yet. Oh, I don't have any. I'm like, okay, dude, I know you don't have any clients yet. Why do you keep saying that? We just got started like a day ago. I need for you to relax, let go of that, and then let's just do this work. She started putting in, one sec, let me pause the video until this thing goes by. Sorry, just a long train. Uh, I'm sitting inside of like the city. Um, I just came from like a Starbucks. Um, it's Sunday right now, so I'm just kind of filming this in my car because um, I just spur of the moment thought about helping you out. But as soon as she stopped thinking about that, as soon as she just did the work, and she did the right work. So for her, it was like going on like LinkedIn and really learning how to go and, and just, just talk to people more correctly. Then we also helped her on like Instagram. So it's the same thing. It's basically the same message sequence, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. It's just more about learning how to speak to people. And then I gave her what's called like a sales belief sheet. And basically it's when you're talking to a potential client like on a consultation call, um, it's like the set of beliefs that you need to know and you need to uncover in order to know whether or not the person is mentally in a place to pay you an above average amount of money. Once you know that, then you can go and sell people for you. I mean, like when my students are averaging um, like we have students that they average about 50 to 80% of the people they speak to on their first consultation pay at their target price point. But we have students that charge anywhere from like, you know, $8,000 a month to one of my top students, his highest client pays them $15,000 per month. And that's not including if like they have like an additional cleanup that needs to be done for whatever reason. Like, for example, the guy who pays them 15000 a month, he needs a little bit of extra work this month because they're going to apply for like a certain type of business loan. So they need to produce slightly different um, documents than what they usually have um, in order to get this. So it's going to be extra money for him. So it's just it's just crazy, man. It's, it's crazy. Like when you stop caring about results, they just come. And, you know, that, that that's kind of how, it, how it's been for me, too. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you're enjoying this video. Hopefully you learned something. Okay, it's it's even though this principle might not make sense to you now, um, it's it's good that you hear it, let it kind of marinate in the back of your mind, and then you'll understand what I start what I mean by it as it starts happening and occurring to your life. Unfortunately, this video is not like one of those like tactical videos where like do this, do this, do this, do this. This is more of like a mindset of success. And this is the this is the thing that causes people to like really have the exponential growth. Everyone thinks it's tactics. It's not tactics. It's you have a strategy of where you're going, and then you fix your mindset in between those steps so that people and the opportunities you come in contact with work a lot easier and you start making way more money. Okay? So again, if you want some help growing your business, you're tired of either figuring this thing out yourself, you're tired of like trial and error, go ahead and click on the link either above or below the video. And book a call with me, okay? Let's see if this is a good fit for you and me to work together to accomplish your goals, to make the business that you want so you can also have the life that you want, okay? A lot of people get really distracted. They think, hey, Bryce, you're just going to help me make a lot of money. Yeah, that, that's true, but I'm also going to help you build a business that you don't have to be working 80 hours a week to go make, you know, 100K, 200K per year. We want to make sure that it fits into your life. So if that's what you want, go ahead and click on the link either above or below the video. I'll see you on the call. Cannot wait to help you out. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one.